so i was expecting this earlier on in the day we are losing a lot of light so apologies also did my makeup hours ago waiting for this but it's a bit of a different unboxing today because this parcel has been sent to me from a friend in america i know there's a builder bear in here but it feels like heavier than it should be me opening while i'm talking again but it does feel heavier than it should do and honestly he's the kind of person to send me a bunch of quest bars because he knows i like them there's what in the heck he didn't but he did oh my god okay okay i'm gonna so here is the little turkey he hasn't got a name yet no idea what i'm gonna call him yet so any um oh that's cute so you can get him dressed any suggestions would be appreciated for the little turkey guy. Look how cute. <laughs> He's adorable. I've just got new racks for the other side of the room. So like these racks. Um, and there's a duck in that one. I was thought I'll put the turkey with the duck. Now, I wasn't expecting this at all. Oh my God, he bought me a peeps. <laughs> Nate, thank you so much. I love the peeps. I had to ask what peeps were. I was like, they like there's these things called peeps. What are they? Like, I feel like they're they're something else, and they've made builder bears of them, but I've never seen peeps before. And he's like, Oh, they're like an Easter uh like marshmallow thing. And I was like, I'm not really keen on marshmallows, but I really love these peeps. I do like marshmallows if like they're heated up, like been cooked, things like that, but and I like the taste of marshmallows. It's the mushiness. I don't like how mushy marshmallows are. But I thought these were so cute and so adorable. It's really heavy. That's what the weight is. I did not expect it to be this heavy. And it's got sparkles in it. Oh, like the new blue Hello Kitty's got sparkles. But it's soft. You can't feel them. So it's really cool. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am the happiest girl today. And there is more in here. What is the What? It's fallen over, so now I can see what it was. I couldn't see what it was before. He's bought me actual peeps. I'm going to try them. Maybe I'll like <laughs> Let's see. If not, the girls will love them. They look very marshmallowy. But I also would like to try them heated up because obviously I can't get these here. So I'm definitely going to try having some of these melted because I'm sure I'll like them. Then I absolutely love melted marshmallows. I just don't like them when they're like this. But let me see. <laughs> it's going to be so mushy. <laughs> it's the mouthfeel. It's the mouthfeel. Okay, here we go. Mm. The taste is lovely. I love the taste. I don't like the mushy feel. I will eat it. But I wish it was cooked. <laughs> so I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna cook these. I'm. I'm gonna like them when they're cooked. That's the thing. So the girls get to share with me. <laughs> mm. I do like the flavour. The flavour is really nice. It's the mushiness. Oh, I'm gonna put it. The mushiness is a bit too mushy. I'm gonna heat that up and have that hot. <laughs> gonna get a little stick. And put it over a candle <laughs> then i'll love it but still thank you so much i'm really happy to be able to try them because like i am one of the kind of people who will try things that i know i don't like because also i know that my taste buds do change over time everyone's does but like especially if you keep eating something that you don't like you can like train your teeth to your taste buds to like the flavor of things you previously didn't i did the same thing with mushrooms oh these are very marshmallowy they're cute they're like what way is it meant to be though is this like a pink gouda tama whereas these ones look obviously like bunnies but i don't think this is as obvious i'm trying to figure out how it's meant to be oh it's so sticky <laughs> Mm. oh they're chicks 
Okay, I see it as chicks. Wow, well, I actually really like the flavour of this one. This one's way nicer. That one's nice. This one's actually really yummy. I might even... <laughs> I might even put up the squishiness for that. <laughs> mm. I like the chicks. The chicks are yummy. But... I would still rather them not be as squishy. It's, it's all about mouthfeel. Always has been. Same with bananas. Because I quite like banana flavoured stuff. I just don't like the feeling of bananas. But I'll eat bananas. Like, because I'm a grown up. <laughs> oh my god. Peach flavoured lip balm. Vanilla marshmallow. Food. Now this. This is right up my alley. I love anything that smells like marshmallow. Tastes like marshmallow. I often have like marshmallow scented soaps and stuff i just don't want the um texture take my lip gloss off okay it doesn't smell very strong it's a mild smell but it smells nice and it feels nice on the lips. It's ever so, like, creamy. So I like that. This was a real surprise. Oh, there's the bab symbol on here. This was a really nice surprise. And I enjoyed trying some peeps. Because, like, I didn't even know what they were. I didn't even know that they were sweets. As far as I was concerned, they could have been off of a TV show that I hadn't seen. Like, I had no idea. So I'm really happy to know what they are now. And to have tasted them. And I, I can't wait to try them heated up i won't do that on camera <laughs> i feel that would be encouraging some dangerous behavior if i was to sit here with a candle and heat it up to try it for you but i can guarantee that especially this one because i don't like to eat the whole thing in one go and it didn't put me off the flavor of this is amazing i'm the girls might only get one of these each and i'll give them more of these ones because like I, said, I did like the flavor of these but the texture it wasn't the flavor wasn't so good that i could eat the whole thing as it is but i will love it when it's cooked so i think these ones are not my preferred these ones are for sure my preferred i, I could actually eat more of these without cooking them but i'm gonna cook them because i know they're gonna be 10 times better cooked so yeah wow i did not expect all of that <laughs> thank you so much nate i can't believe i got peeps i think i should call the peeps nate what do you think? Because that's who bought it for me. And then I got my turkey. And I don't know what to call him at all. So suggestions in the comments would be very much welcomed. Did I get best certificates? They didn't send me a best certificate. Oops. Oh, well. I'm still very happy with these. Look how gorgeous they look. <laughs> that probably ended up being my thumbnail, actually. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a like below. If you really liked it, you can subscribe. It will help me out. I had a, quite a big break from YouTube for a while, so it's messed me up in the algorithm. But if you give me a like or maybe a subscribe or a comment, any of those, it will help me a little bit. So, but either way, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Okay, so update. It's a couple of days later. This is my Paulette rack from Build Burr. So I have the Groovy Hearts Paulette from Valentine's Day. I don't like touching her very much because she has lots of tinsel in there. But I have picked most of her tinsel out so she feels a lot better, especially around the face. But I'll finish her off. Uh, she is called Clover. They've all got Watership Down names. This one is called Heisenflay. Um, she is the Buffalo Check. This is Pipkin, the Pumpkin Spice... No, Pumpkin Sparkle Paulette. And then this one is actually um, Neptune, my memorial bear, named after my bunny who passed last June, actually. Um, but the other one I got, what has um, a watership down in, I have two of this bunny. The other one is called Ella Lara. But then I had this duck, Jemima, and uh, I dressed her up as a bunny. And then I'd sit here with the other Paulettes. And I like made like a little joke on Reddit that people seem to like. Where I was like, there's an imposter, but I can't figure out who it is kind of thing. And like some of these were like kind of positioned. That they were gossiping about it. It's just like a cute little thing. And so I ended up keeping it in the costume because she just looks so cute. So then I remembered that I had the white bunny costume. <laughs> the turkey is adorable. 
in the white bunny costume. I did like the idea of keeping it without clothes on because it's actually a really soft bab. But when I saw it in the bunny costume, I was like, yes, I have to have two bird imposters with the Paulettes. <laughs> and also the turkey now does have a name. He is now called Ten Pin. Um, I'm not much of a bowler, but I know that if you bowl three strikes, it's called a turkey. And so he is now called Ten Pin. So there, there they are. My bunny rack. <laughs> and the imposters. <laughs>